Hey everyone, have you ever used those cookie flags like HTTP only, secure and same site? Well, if yes, is that really saving your site? Though they sound really solid, like your cookies are locked in a vault and nobody's touching them, but it's still useless. A few days ago, I was testing an application and found and reflected cross-site scripting, but the twist was the cookies were flagged as HTTP only, secure, and same site. But still, I was able to take over the user's accounts. If you are curious, stick around and I'll show you how you can beat these flags. So let's break this down real quick. First, what really is HTTP only, secure, and same site? HTTP only means that JavaScript on the page, you know, the what you can do with JavaScript's document.cookie, but the HTTP only flag makes the cookie unreadable. Seems cool, right? But here's the thing. It only protects from client-side access. Um, if there's a vulnerability like XRZ, sure, you can't read the cookie, but you can still sometimes mess with things on the server side. Now let's talk about secure. Secure means the cookie only travels over HTTPS. That's good. I mean, you don't want your session flying around in plain text. Looks like very useful. And then the big one, same site. Now this is where things get kind of interesting. With same site, the cookie won't be sent with cross-site requests. So if you're on example.com, that cookie's not going to hitch a ride over to evil.com. There are three modes for same site, strict, lax, and none. And yeah, each one is different. And if it's not configured right, well, let's just say bad things can still happen. All right, everything sounds perfect, right? Ah, uh, mostly. Here's the twist. They're not bulletproof. And I'm going to show you how I figured that out. So when I was hunting for bugs, you know, doing my thing, and I came across this form, it had a hidden redirect parameter, and it was sanitizing angle brackets. Kind of typical, right? But the form was auto-submitting the moment the page loaded. Like, no clicking, just boom, it's gone. So I couldn't just inject a script and watch it fire. I had to get creative. I started poking around with event listeners, testing different things, and finally, I landed on, on content visibility auto state change. Yeah, I know. It's a mouthful, but it worked. I got my XSS to fire. Now, most people would stop there and think, well, I can't touch the cookies. They're same site and HTTP only. But I thought, wait a second. If I can get the cookie, how is the API call adding the cookies? So typically these sites uses API endpoint on the same domain. And if I use JavaScript to query same domain, I would get the cookies automatically into the request. That's exactly what happened. I hit in same site API, which was used to add admins to the project, sent a request and bam, admin access. Those cookie flags, don't get me wrong, they're good, but they're not unbreakable. If you can interact with server side logic, if you can find those same domain endpoints, you still have a shot. If you thought this was cool, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more real-world hacking breakdowns. This is Intruder Security, signing off. Catch you in the next one.